<clears throat> What's better than getting that annual Happy Holidays card from your dentist? That's right, Ectochrome Christmas 3. Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Well, it's time for the third installment of An Ectochrome Christmas. Will it be great, or will it simply fade into obscurity like the rest of them? Probably the latter, but f*** it, let's do it anyway. Like we all know, the third movie in a trilogy is always the best one. Just look at The Godfather Part 3, The Matrix 3, Spider-Man 3, Alien 3, Jurassic Park 3, Alan. and of course, the zenith of cinematic greatness, Stuart Little 3. As you can probably tell, I decided to do things a little bit different this year. Of course, I picked up some Kodak Ektachrome, but this time in tiny ant size, or Super 8 as it's more commonly known. I had two cartridges and stuffed them in my Nikon R10. So let's jump into it like a skydiver without a parachute. Here's some underexposed footage of Monica in our apartment. I guess I drastically underestimated how far I could stretch a 100 ISO film. Alright, so unfortunately one of the cartridges would soon jam up after I filmed maybe 15 seconds of footage. Insert joke about only lasting 15 seconds. The footage that should be here is a hike I did with my brother. Anyway, back to the Super 8 footage. Here's me driving my trusty 4Runner to Northern California. We took Highway 101 instead of the 5 because it's more scenic and doesn't smell like cow shit. You may have noticed our dog Baxter has slimmed down a bit. He's actually been on a year-long diet, which he isn't happy about. But he's gone from a beefy Pentax 6.7 down to a collapsible Makina 6.70, so we're proud of the little ham. Here he is praying to Air Bud that we accidentally drop a pie. Anyway, it was time to bake. Not the 420 kind, but the sugar overload kind. Here are some cookies I was forced to labor over as part of our ritualistic holiday bake sesh. Consider this my formal application for the Great British Bake Off. This is my 100 year old cat Charlie, plotting to ruin Christmas for us. The next day we went to the beach with our son Baxter. While we were interested in the beautiful coastal scenery, he was mostly interested in eating kelp and sand. Back of the house, things were starting to feel pretty magical. Whether that was a result of underexposed ectochrome or the six pounds of sugar coursing through our veins, we'll never know. Every year for Christmas, my mom makes something called gooey butter cake, which is very nutritious. Not for your body, nutritious for your soul. That sh will fuck up your arteries real quick. I got some Jägermeister for Christmas, which I've gotten every year from Santa since I was six. So it was nice to keep the tradition alive. And of course, follow up Christmas morning with Jäger bombs. So it actually rained on Christmas for us, which I was very happy to see. Hell, growing up in California, it's the closest I've come to a snowy Christmas, so I'll take it. Here's Monica, blacked out from too many Jäger bombs. Smash cut to Monica, hung over the next morning. There's my mom feeding her dog the same way she fed my brother and I while we were growing up. Real quick, before we wrap up this video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're a photographer looking to build a platform to display your work to impress clients, friends, family, people on dating apps, etc., then Squarespace is the way to do it. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform with hundreds of templates for you to select, from photography to sports to design to making corn dogs, if that's what you're into. I use Squarespace to host my photography portfolio online because every template they offer yields a very professional and sleek look, with little to no work on my end, and that's how it should be. 
Squarespace has award-winning 24-hour customer service and doesn't require any plugins, patches, updates, or knowledge of web design at all to get going. If you're ready to build a website, you can start a free trial today at squarespace.com slash grainy days. And if you use the code grainy days at checkout, you can get 10% off your first purchase. So what did we learn from this video? We learned Ektachrome looks best in well-lit settings. Don't even try shooting that shit in low light. Personally, I don't think I'll ever shoot 8mm Ektachrome again. The dynamic range, though good for a slide film, in my opinion, just isn't on the same level as color negative film. I'm having doubts, and frankly, I'm not sure if I'll continue to shoot 8mm in the future. It's very nostalgic, I'll give it that, but I don't think I really get much enjoyment out of the shooting experience. And with cartridge errors like this one that blank the majority of your film, I'm not going to be jumping with joy at the chance to shoot it again. So. I don't know, did you think the Ektachrome looked good? If you did, tell me why in the comments. I won't respond, but go ahead and do it anyway. I hope you all had a good holiday break and were gifted plenty of Cinestill. I will see you again in two weeks.